I've always been a Warriors fan. Just being from Oakland is, I feel like it's embedded in me, you know, so it's just amazing to be a part of this organization now and I'm really looking forward to it. So I started playing basketball in third grade. Alvin Adel's wife, she was my third grade teacher and I was playing soccer prior to that, but she actually put me into a Warriors basketball camp. So that's kind of what just jump-started me playing basketball. I fell in love with it. I still remember that camp like it was last week. Warriors camp meant a lot. It changed my life. It was really exciting. I was That was my first basketball camp. It's propelled me to be where I am today. I think the first time that I realized I could make something of basketball was after junior year-ish. I started to improve on my game. I joined the AAU team, Oakland Rebels, which is now Team Lillard. I started getting phone calls from colleges. Just It hit me like out of nowhere. and I was like, okay, I can really do something with this. So I really started to dedicate my time and my life to the game of basketball, you know, eating healthy, sleeping well, uh, really working on my game. My time at Marquette was, uh, it was up and down a little bit. I had some injuries that set me back. I went undrafted. Uh, I didn't even put my name in the draft. I didn't have any NBA workouts, nothing. Then I went on to play in Mexico for three years, which was really cool, man. It really brought the love back to me because after college, I was a little discouraged, seeing my dream kind of fade away. But um, I got to go there, I enjoyed it. Playing for the national team was really cool. Representing the country is, man, there's no words for that. It's not like you're playing for a city. A year plan for the whole country. And, you know, the support I get from my family, they're really proud, you know, to see Mexico across my chest with Toscano on the back. They take a lot of pride in that. That's satisfying to me to see how proud they are of me. It's an experience in itself, and it's nothing I would trade. Solid and down low. Blocked by Toscano Anderson. Playing on Santa Cruz was really cool. It was my first experience in, in anything under the NBA umbrella. I had the opportunity to play with some great players, uh, some great coaches. Also, you know, being back home, so that was that was really cool. It was one of my best basketball experiences as a whole. You know, where I really enjoyed playing for the team, the location it was, and I saw a lot of growth for myself as a player, but also like, you know, off the court as well. So, like I said, it was just an all-around great experience for me. Now that I have this opportunity to play for the Warriors, what I plan to do is is just be me be a great teammate, be the hardest playing guy on the floor. Whatever it takes to win, I'm all about winning, and I just want to contribute to our team's success. For kids that are from Oakland, I think it's great for them, you know, they can identify with me, somebody from Oakland. It's not like they're looking at the Kobe Bryants or the LeBron James. Seeing somebody from Oakland, it, it probably gives them a little more inspiration and motivation. Like, yeah, this guy's where I'm from. He grew up in the same neighborhood I grew up in. So they can take that and use that as motivation, and see it for themselves as well. I never thought in a million years that I would be playing for the Warriors, let alone in the NBA, but it's exciting, man, for myself, for my family, uh, for my friends, and you know, for the people of Oakland. I see people all the time, they're just like, we're so proud of you, you know, are you doing it for the town? They have a lot of love for me and a lot of support, and it just, it's really heartwarming, you know? I'm doing it for my city.